This is a steel tubing known as EMT conduit, and you can find it in the hardware stores in either five or 10 foot lengths. And if you're building a project, you know, a DIY garden trellis or something like that, you might need to make longer spans than 10 foot, as long as you support them properly. Uh, and doing that can be kind of a challenge. So we've talked a lot about joining pieces of EMT conduit together on the channel in the past, so much so that we even made and designed a steel coupling as a part of our connector system that you can use to securely and easily join pieces of EMT conduit together, just like that with this nut and bolt. And essentially, you know, like I said, we've talked about, about a lot of different ideas on the channel, but there was one that was recently uh, kind of shown to me that I wanted to highlight to you guys in case this one is a better solution for your specific needs and your specific project. And this one is an internal coupling, which is pretty cool. We haven't seen a lot of different solutions for that. So this is cool. This is made by somebody, uh, a company called Jiggly Greenhouse. And it is something that we could potentially sell on the website if you guys wanted us to make it available whenever you're buying your connectors and things. Uh, but at first, I just wanted to highlight highlight it and show it to you guys. Uh, but essentially, I thought the way this worked was you were supposed to hammer it in and it would get stuck down in there, which makes sense and you probably could do, but it's not made for that. But there is a burr on the end of EMT conduit whenever you cut EMT with the handheld pipe and tube cutter. So you need to remove that first for this to work the way it's supposed to. And usually all handheld pipe and tube cutters like this one that we sell on the website is made so you can deburr really easily. You just open this thing on the back and just spin it around to deburr the conduit and you just want to go around and do that and get rid of that that metal burr on the end and then that will make it smooth so you can slide that all the way in and it's supposed to go like that and then of course we'll do the same thing on this other piece and you just go and deburr that and it's not too difficult just apply a little bit of pressure and you can see some metal shavings come off of that which is what you want just to get rid of that lip on the inside and make it smooth so that you can easily slide this together and then there you go you've got your couple piece of conduit but obviously this is loose so we want to secure this together and uh, I think an easy way to do that is with a uh, tool that we talked about a while back on the channel and essentially you're supposed to add self-drilling screws through this but you could drill all the way through you know both sides of the conduit all the way through the coupling and add a bolt but if you have this tool or a center punch in general you can add that divot in the EMT conduit and you can do that on both sides here if you want to add that divot to make it easier to drill and it just adds that small little divot there which will keep the conduit or sorry the self-drilling screw from walking all over the place but essentially you just put a self-drilling screw all the way through the EMT conduit and the coupling just like that and then now we've got this side secured and then we'll just do the same thing on the other side to secure it in place okay and then you drill all the way through and you might want to do a better job of me of making it even so it looks better but all that really matters is it's strong and secured and now we've joined the two pieces of EMT conduit together. So like I said earlier, whenever you do this, you do want to make sure that you're bracing properly and not creating some 40 foot long span. But this is a good option for you if you need to create a coupling and join pieces of conduit together. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.